Welcome. So today we're going to go over how you replace these lights inside of here. It's your reverse light, your um, standard tail light, blinker, and any other lights in this mechanism. Also, how you would remove and replace this. So we'll start with the removal and replace. This one, you just got to undo these two screws. And then, I like using these to not damage anything, but just kind of pop it in there where you can get some grip on there. Pop it, and then you just kind of pull the whole light instrument panel this way. Right? So we pull it out this way and we get access to everything back here. You can undo this. Um, this cable sits up in here, gives you a little bit more space to do what you need to do. And then if you were going to replace this whole uh, unit, just go ahead and twist these all off. Unhook all those electrical connections and now you've got this piece removed. Um, Say so all this lens is broken, you're going to go ahead and replace it. So that's how you would go ahead and disconnect all of that. And then you would just put it back in the reverse process and that will be discussed in a minute. But that's how you would go ahead and remove that. So in replacing these individually, here we've got our parking light, clearance light. It goes on the outside. Then you've got your regular um, uh, clearance and brake light right here, there's two elements in there. And then we've got the blinker, blinker and hazard. And then this would be the reverse light. So, you know, you get in here, you know which one's going bad by double checking it when it's all hooked in the assembly. With all these lights you just push in and remove. Um, this one can be put in either way, it doesn't matter. There's not a one prong that's shorter than taller. Just push and remove, same with this one. Um, this one's got double element, but it's just an amber color essentially of a version of this, except, and then just push in, twist to the right to lock in. Same with this one, and this one is your brake, it's the one that goes in the red. So it's your um, clearance and brake, same thing, push in, twist. Now this one does have um, one prong that's higher than the other side. So when you put it back in, you want to make sure when you're looking inside here that you put the right direction. Right. So we got the longer prong on the bottom, then just push it, twist it to the right. And this one is just a simple pull out, release, and then push back in. And that's how you would go ahead and, uh, you know, these are all the lights that you would replace. Um, put it all back in here. You're just going to push them in to their location. You wouldn't have to take them all out if you're just replacing one bolt. But just put them into their location. Note that this one goes up the top because that's going to be your brake and clearance. So let's slide in and lock it in place. And then this one is the, the blinker. line the tabs up see it's got a longer a bigger tab on the bottom and so you just want to line that tab there twist it until it's tight and then this is the reverse one and the reverse goes into the clear so this is clear here but that's where the blinker goes and also um, the hazard your brake light and then your clearance light over here and your reverse light will show up right there. So you put those all back in and just go ahead and uh, re-put these electric into the tab here. 
Same thing with this, this one. Hold it into place. And then there was a blue clip on the bottom that'll be better in a pitcher that you're gonna wanna slide into this location, a little white connector there. And then there was a clip over here to also be in a picture on the how-to. But you get that all lined up in there, and then it'll kind of just lock into place. Make sure that we've got it on that clip. And the blue one, when it goes in, it locks into place. And then you're just gonna go ahead and put these two screws back in, which are just a P2 Phillips screw. Let's tighten it up. <laughs> 